The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, to our Resident Evil Village playthrough. In the last episode, we ended where Chris had uh, left us with a bit of a revelation that Mia was, in fact, Miranda. Apparently, Mia and Miranda, I don't know if they saw places, but it sounded like Mia is dead. And Miranda has the ability to mimic the appearance of other people, and therefore she chose to look like Mia. And in doing so, she was hoping, I think, to be able to uh, jump in and kidnap Rose, is what it looks like. I want to look around and see exactly what we're dealing with here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we got everything. Yeah, we're good. We're blue. Not sure what this is going to do, but let's find out. Because I want to know, like... Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Oh, we're going to fight Heisenberg with this thing. I want to know when Miranda became Mia. And I want to know I'm what happened to Mia. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. Let's see. Oh, it automatically did that. We're going to fight a whole armada, aren't we? Ah, boy. This is going to get pretty wild, I feel like. Oh, son of a bitch! We're restarting that. Can't turn back now. We're going to go ahead and get that. I'm not letting that. I'm not missing that. All that time, I'm pretty sure I was right. Heard that freaking goat. Gotta be. Gotta be right. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Is there like an overheat meter or something on this gun? No. Okay, good. Coming for you, goat. It moved! Say what? Okay, hold on. Was it always in that left? I thought it was in the middle. I'm pretty sure I missed it. Can't turn back now. That's annoying. Okay, we're gonna get that damn goat. Hold on. That's super important to me. Especially because there were so many times that I was like, I can hear a goat. And then I end the video with like, no. No, I didn't. Metal polymer composite. But I did. Time to fight fire with fire. <laughs> Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to look up. Because coming, if Rose. we're moving up, then that's coming down. Not going to miss it this time. It's right after the big red one, I feel like. This one here. Shoot, I missed it again. How do we have that many bullets flying and we miss it? Okay, we're going to get that. I was going to edit this and maybe, like, cut this part out. But... No, this is important. You guys got to see me get it on record, hitting that thing. But it looks like it didn't move. I was wrong. It looks like it stays in the same exact spot. So it should be okay there. Metal polymer I think. composite, huh? Hopefully. Time to fight fire with fire. Let's see. All right, Ethan, no messing up. This time, let's do it. Okay. Right after this one. Got it. That would suck if there was two. fire cannon I don't understand I can't fire the cannon it doesn't let me oh hold ready cannon I see 
Gotcha. You're like a goddamn cockroach. You didn't take me on. Fine. This will be my war before I kill the bitch. Now listen. Man. A man. Your courts will be another addition to my army. Glowing spots is weak spot. There we are. Basically has magneto powers. They're punching. That's hilarious. That reference is crazy. If we're out here by ourselves. That's a hilarious reference. Dude, you could have just like thrown all the metal at me and killed me. Why has he made it so easy on me? Oh shit. Probably what he should have in the first place to kill me. That was the easiest boss fight we've had. Crystal Heisenberg. That's weird. It was too easy. Ethan? I heard explosions. What the hell happened? 
I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? What the hell? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? Shoot you. Know, but I'm A saving bunch. Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Explains that counts for crows. Calm yourself. Rose will be safe. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Just shoot her in Where the face. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her? Parents? Called it. And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can. From your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come out and face me! Don't worry. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> like what? I've waited so long, but dreams really can. I can't wait to see my true child again. Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Boulder punching. So funny. Go get her, Captain. The squad's ready for you. So now do we play as Chris? Be 
TSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? That's freaking cool. The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at, either. Spooky. What the hell? Hey, Alpha. What's this? Yes, hey, hey. You've gone too far. Christ. Looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. I just bought the weak. Watch out. Man. Chris is making these guys look like chums. Up any items though. Western route is clear, moving out. Roger. We didn't get a chance to figure out what that other place was by the stronghold. BSAA that... craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take them. Don't, Don't get caught. Oh, hey, okay. This is the Weiss's house. What do we got here? Target locator. Hand grenades. Knife. Medicine fully heals all wounds. This is... I don't. I don't know what to make of all this. Is Ethan actually dead? Like, what's the deal? Super confused. But, you know, organization is important. It's been a while since I played. Large mutated Resident Evil 7, so I don't remember if they called the mold thing Metamucite. This gun does crazy damage. Damn it, the path's blocked. No worries. Detour around the village. That must be what the mold is, meta new site. That old new site. Roger. Tundra here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Did you say in one of? That's cool, night vision. That must be what she meant, though. I gotta admit, this is pretty freaking cool.
That actually startles me every time he puts it down because I feel like somebody's jumping in front of me. Can I squeeze through that? Damn, this thing's got so much power. Rip Ethan's kill count. Chris is going to double it by the time we get to the front gate. Trying to get as many headshots as possible, but ain't working. In the target. Roger that, boss. In a sec. Takes a minute to target the point. Try and keep it. All right. Reloading now. Just a minute. This is slow. Made it that way. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, this is <laughs> this is gonna go freaking crazy. Come on, you got this. You think you're tough. Uh Chris, you're tough. Chris, tough ass. Okay, Captain. I reload. Waiting when you are. Probably expanding. There must be something stimulating it. BSA guys are engaging the bio. Are they coming around? this thing. 
Five more from the mountains. East side. I'm nearby. I'll have it. Ah. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. I'm reloading. Is that what you Oh shit. Uh, not gonna make it easy on me, are ya? Be able to dodge that. <laughs> Just freaking arrows. Nope. 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 <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Take that. Good. The mega my seat must be below. I can't help but feel like I missed a lot of really big stuff in the game. I found a way down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, <clears throat> I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. starting to get a more developed picture. Despite the action going on right now, there are things happening that hopefully we'll be able to address some of our questions, because I've got a lot. Like a lot of questions. I've got a ton. Seems kind of messed up that Ethan gets killed and Chris is the one to take out Miranda. He didn't do anything. Ethan did all the work. What the hell are you? That's a big creature holding a massive mace. Oh boy. Oh, Geronimo! Do I just run like an idiot? Seems like that's working. Oh, maybe I can hit him from the back. It looks like he's got some parasites on him. Oh, that didn't really feel good. Okay, so we got something here. Oh crap. Yeah, I'm about to get hit in the head. I'll signal with the locator. Give the guy a break. Let's go ahead and use you first. Not even be 
worth dumping my ammo into it, really. Three, oops, to five times. Shit. God, that's a huge freaking mace. I'll keep going. Just a few. Yeah, I didn't want to use my AR ammo. But that thing is this thing Stay is above ground. freaking dope. It's a sexy ass sidearm. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? Yeah. I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. What the hell? It. It's the Megamycete. Alpha to squad. I've located the Megamycete. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. <sighs> and two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. I don't understand. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Doesn't really do a lot of good now, making Chris feel bad as he's about to go and fight Miranda alone. I do like how that guy's name is K9, though. Respect. This must be Miranda's lab. There's a lot to read, probably. Oh, no. Subject name, Salvatore Moreau. Kudu infinity affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. The Kudu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Eva. Cool, though. Very Skyrim book-looking thing. Like, uh... Sadius Moro, whatever that guy's name is. Sayus Mora? I can't remember his name. Subject name, Alcina Dimitrescu. Kadu, affinity most favorable. Brain functions normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid generation also means an increased body size. Note, due to hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Eva. Most favorable, though. Mm. Subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. An arcade Japonica. Not familiar with that. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore 
pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Curious. What was this one? Oh, I missed this one. Wait, no, this is the one I missed. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Favorable, normal, although severe mental illness. Yeah, no kidding, with the love of, of friggin' dolls. Physically, she's no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the met mutamycete. Oh, whatever. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. Hey, the flowers from Resident Evil 5, maybe? However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadeau among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. Unfit vessel for Ava. So this is the cadeau or cadeau or however so you say using it. This to control the bio weapons. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to you 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism, positively visionary. I knew that with the knowledge... I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Holy shit. Is this from who I think it is? Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many uh, nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I have to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor of virus are found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella, just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday, too. You taught me so much, and for that, I'll be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswald E. Spencer... What's actually here? Yeah. No way. What's even crazier is on my channel when I like to play through scary games, I was really hoping to be able to play through the first seven Resident Evil games just to jump into this one and be ready. But I actually completed Resident Evil Five, so and then this one came out at the time of this recording, so a lot of that stuff is a lot more fresh in my memory. Resident Evil Five has a lot of information on pretty much everything we just read actually so that was just perfect timing imperfect timing that turned out very well okay so we did sort of answer one question at least we know that mia well they don't know we know that they don't know what mia is up to or where she is we don't know anything about mia they have no idea where she is ethan is dead i mean but let's be real if you can bring back rose you could probably bring back ethan Who's a dude in a leather jacket? Curious. Let's see flying creatures. I'll read that thing in a second. Brain changes. Physical changes. There's Moreau. Truly fascinating. My Eva. It's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the mega, mega mycete. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the mega mycete regulator, the giant's chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the mega mycete. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again, and that's when I found it, the Megamycete, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Megamycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your, your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. 
When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega My Seat. That way I could control them, experiment on them. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Kado, yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina or Alcina, uh, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said that they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. They again, not a then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. This is all about just bringing back a loved one. Psychopath. Oh crap, this is going to be a cutscene. Mia? Show me your hands. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And they didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. <laughs> It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. What? He's alive after all that! What's going on? <laughs> so it's there? Wait, where the hell am I? Did I get here? God, it's freezing. This shit, body. To save Rose. Wrong. <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still. <sighs> See, Miranda didn't kill you. 
are her boots so clean? That was weird. Three years ago, the Baker House. You were murdered by Jack. You died there three years ago. That's that's impossible. No way. You shouldn't even be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Screw you! What, what am I? I... I... Did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. I. The Duke? At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. <sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who, what are you? <laughs> Dying to know that. Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I want to know so badly. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? What does that mean? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Is there a save point nearby? I feel like I've done quite a lot. Yes, there is. Alright, my friends. Let's go ahead and save that. Alright. What a... What a wild ending point. I still have so many questions and hopefully we'll get a lot more answers. But we'll have to call that... 
uh, ado and wait for next time when we continue on with the playthrough. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'll see you when we continue tomorrow with a brand new episode right here on the Mark and I channel, uh, part of Mark After Dark. New episodes debut every evening at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks again for watching. Take care of yourselves. Be well, and I'll see you when we continue with Resident Evil Village. Later.